Hi, I'm Phoebe and I'm a first year catering student at Westminster Kingsway College. In the current climate, we've been advised to leave our houses as little as possible, which limits how often we can get to the supermarket and which ingredients we can buy. So this is why it's important to make use of the ingredients that you do have in your fridge and your larder. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make three different meals using one chicken and I'll be using the ingredients that I have in my fridge and larder. But if you don't have these ingredients, it doesn't matter because there's always substitutions that can be made and all this involves is a bit of forward thinking and meal planning. It's Sunday today, so I'm going to start by making a family favourite, traditional roast chicken. So here I've got a rather large chicken that I got from my local butchers. It weighs roughly six pounds and would easily feed a family of six with leftovers. And once I've roasted the chicken, I'm going to use the carcass to make a stock. I've set my oven to 180 degrees fan and I calculated my roasting times using an online calculator. And in front of me, I've got 60 grams of butter, a handful of thyme, a large bulb of garlic, two lemons, which I put in some boiling water for a couple of minutes to soften them, which is a Jamie Oliver tip and I've also got some seasoning, which I'm gonna to combine to a paste to rub on the chicken. So in this bowl, I've got my thyme leaves and my butter. I've crushed half my bulb of garlic and I put it in the cavity of the chicken and I'm going to mince up the other half of the garlic bulb. So I've just added my minced garlic and now I'm adding my lemons, which as you can see, they're soft after being in the boiling water. And I've now combined all of that ingredients into a paste, which I'm rubbing underneath the chicken skin and on top, making sure that I get round the wings and the legs. So I've got my chicken in the roasting tray. It's on a bed of root vegetables. So we've got some carrot, we've got some parsnip, and we've got some onion in here. Um, I'm going to squeeze over my last bit of lemon. Some black pepper. and some salt. The chicken's ready for the oven now. I'm gonna put it in for 20 minutes at 180. And then after that, I'm gonna reduce the heat to 160 and leave it in there for two hours. For my accompaniments, I've got some easily available vegetables. So I've got some British baby potatoes, which I'm going to slice up into a Hasselback. I've got some Chantonet carrots. I'm just gonna take out the root and blanch them got some parsnips I did try and get baby ones because they're sweeter but they, this was all that was available so I'm just gonna honey roast these instead and then I've also got some savoy cabbage which I'm gonna fill some of the leaves with some pancetta and then I'm gonna use the cabbage for another meal on a different day for my pantry ingredients really simple all I'm gonna need is some olive oil some salt some pepper some honey got some butter and some garlic here and some plain flour so I've just got my chicken out of the oven and I'm going to leave it here to rest for 20 minutes. And here I've got my tray that's got my roasting juices and my vegetables in it. And I'm going to try and salvage as much as I can to make my gravy. So to begin with, I'm going to put the onions in a saucepan, along with a tablespoon of plain flour. And two teaspoons of mustard powder to give it a kick. And then with the rest of my vegetables, so I've got the lemon and the garlic and the juice, I'm gonna pour this through the strainer and try and make a stock out of it. I've plated up my roast dinner, I've skimmed the fat off my gravy, so it's ready to pour now. After finishing my roast dinner, I've separated my meat from the carcass, which is in here. Uh, here are my leftovers. Um, I'm going to wait for these to cool down and then I'm going to decant them into a container. I'm going to store them in the fridge on the top shelf away from any raw meat, which is where they can be stored for three to four days. I'm making a bone broth now. I've got my chicken carcass in here, which contains lots of nutrients. I'm going to add my vegetables. So I've got some onion here, some carrot, some celery and some garlic and then I'm going to push it down with a spoon as much as I can then I'm going to cover it with some filtered water 
Then I'm going to add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Um, this helps draw out the nutrients from the bones. But if you don't have apple cider vinegar, you can use lemon juice and it works just the same. And finally, I'm going to add some salt. And then I'm going to leave this overnight. I'm gonna to have to come back every couple of hours and skim the fat off and add some more water if needed. Here I've got my chicken stock that I made from the chicken carcass last night. I've strained a litre of my stock into a jug because it's how much I'm gonna need for my next recipe. Um, when the rest cools down, I'm going to put it into this jar or I'm gonna store it in the fridge. It can be stored for three to four days and it can be stored for up to six months in a freezer. When it comes out the fridge, it might have a layer of fat around the top and you can either melt this down or you can use it in your cooking or you can discard it. Today's recipe is chicken risotto. In my pan, I've got three echelon shallots. These are sweeter than an onion and they won't require less than an onion. But if you haven't got these, you can just use a white onion. I've got two cloves of sliced garlic, half a red pointed pepper, some pancetta. But if you haven't got pancetta, you can just slice up some bacon. And I've got a red chilli to add a kick. If you don't have a red chilli, you can use chilli flakes or you can add a few drops of Tabasco. So I fried off that ingredients in two tablespoons of oil for a couple of minutes. And then I added 200 grams of sliced chestnut mushrooms. Now I'm going to add 300 grams of arborio rice. If you don't have arborio rice, you can use long grain rice. So I'm just gonna coat that. And now that that's nicely coated, I'm going to add half a small bottle of medium white wine. So now that my pan's bubbling, I'm going to add my chicken stock. So now I've added that, I'm going to bring the pan up to the boil. But once it's boiling, I'm gonna leave it to simmer for 10 minutes, stirring it frequently. After about eight minutes of cooking, I added 200 grams of frozen peas, the rest of my bottle of wine, and seasoned it well. I'm now going to add 300 grams of my chicken that I cooked yesterday. It's in quite big chunks, but that's okay because it'll break down once it goes in. Last few ingredients. So 25 grams of butter. Stir that in. Followed by 100 grams of Parmesan cheese. It's important to keep stirring the risotto because it gets its creaminess from the starch released when the grains rub against each other. And now the finishing touch, which is a handful of parsley and a squeeze of lemon. And mix that in and that's done. Here's my chicken risotto that I've made with my leftover chicken and of course my chicken stock. There's enough risotto in the pan to feed a family of six and I've still got enough leftover chicken and stock to make another meal tomorrow, so I'll see you then. For my third and final dish, I'm going to be making an Asian inspired chicken soup. We're using my leftover chicken and the rest of my chicken stock. I'm going to start by frying off the white of some spring onion. I've got the green here, which I'm going to use later on. One red chilli, some coriander stems, and I've got the rest of the coriander here. About four centimetres of grated ginger and a clove of garlic, which I've sliced up. So I'm going to fry that in two tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm now going to add a litre of my stock. I put the rest in an airtight container and I'm going to freeze it. As well as adding a dash of soy sauce. Some lime juice. And a teaspoon of muscovado sugar to break down the acidity. And I'm then going to bring this up to the boil. So I've just added an assortment of wild mushrooms to my pan. You can use any type of mushroom for this. You don't need to cut them, you can just break them up. I've also added my cabbage that I had left over from Sunday's dinner, um, as well as my, the greens of my spring onions. In this pan, I am just cooking some rice noodles according to the packet instructions. I just had these left over in my cupboard, and if you don't have them, you can use any other noodles. You can use rice or you can use spaghetti. So I've just drained my noodles. Um, I've added my chicken to the pan to warm it through, and during the last two minutes of cooking, I added my bean sprouts. Here's my finished chicken noodle soup. I've just garnished it with some coriander as well as some spring onion and some red chilies. This dish was really easy to prepare and cook. It only took about 15 minutes. Thank you for watching my video. 
I've now shown you how to make three different meals using one chicken as well as the ingredients that I have in my fridge and larder. Remember there are always alternatives that can be used as well as substitutions that can be made and all it involves is a bit of forward thinking. Thank you.